Brady here at BlackBerryOS.com. I am here with Vivek Bardwaj, Head of Software Portfolio at RIM. And uh, he's going to give us a little demonstration of the Dev Alpha B that we've all seen here at BlackBerry Jam Americas 2012 and give us a little demonstration of the BlackBerry 10 operating system and all the little uh, goodies. So go ahead and uh, sure. Vivek, Thanks, if you want to. So yeah. I've got a Dev Alpha B here in front of me um, with obviously our Beta 3 software. You can kind of see um, our first look at the BlackBerry 10 lock screen. So you can see the camera, you can see notifications, I can kind of get a quick access to the camera. You can see the time, date, and even my next event. But what's really cool is BlackBerry Flow allows me to wake up my device how, however I want. And I, all I simply do is pull from the bottom anywhere, and you can kind of see this cover kind of lifting off, revealing what's underneath. Yeah, that's so sexy. That is awesome. So now I'm obviously into to my home screen. I can navigate across all my different applications. I can even quickly move across all my different applications. I love that feature. That's like how many times you just don't want to slide over. Exactly. And you, yeah, very quick. So I'll open up a, a few apps now, and you'll see as I open these applications up, the browser. Let me go ahead and launch Facebook. So you can see now that I've got a number of applications open. I can take an application and I can minimize it. And I can also peak with an application. So now, from the bottom, I can slowly bring up, and you can see there, all the different notifications. LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and the great thing is this is reversible, right? So I can go right back. Simple as that. So sweet. And then what's really cool is I can peak further. So without leaving the screen, I can just pull across. And there's the BlackBerry Hub. Everything integrated in a single view. And again, I can go right back. So I can have a look at what's just come in, and then get back to my application. And it's that easy. And not only from an application, you can do this anywhere. So imagine you're looking through your hundreds and hundreds of apps from BlackBerry Outworld, and then you pull up, you see the peak, and you can pull across. So anywhere in the entire interface, it's a single gesture to come into the BlackBerry Hub. Once you're in the BlackBerry Hub, you can kind of see how we've integrated absolutely everything, right? whether it's BBM, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and even your email. You can actually filter your view just by pulling it across. And you see how Flow really works there, just allowing me to look at all my different accounts. That's very fluid, too, like the way you, you mm. as you're moving it across, it's very fluid, too. Well, absolutely, and you can kind of see how we built this everywhere, right? So as an example, I'll kind of open up a Facebook message. You see how well integrated that is. It's even got the... Uh, the, the timeline in terms of messages via, via Facebook, and all I can do is pull back to the hub. See how everything is so fluid. Honestly, seeing it on the camera, the camera does not do it justice with how gorgeous it absolutely looks. <laughs> it is it is beautiful. Oh yeah, it's so. Great. What's what's really cool about this is I can now actually peek within my hub. So now if I pull down, you can actually see all my next meetings, like all the next events going on. And then suddenly I can just tap on one, and you see how we bring that content All right, into so play. better calendar integration. Absolutely, well, yeah. really, really tight calendar integration. And you've got the details there. You can go to people. There's a list of people, obviously, uh, at that meeting. Um, and any emails or files associated with that, that meeting are attached there as well. But what's great is I can continue to drill down and get information. So now I'm looking up Kate, and I can see a load of information. Facebook, you know, a birthday that's coming up. Uh, experience they may have from LinkedIn, even education. Um, I can get updates on the company, right, or even an activity timeline. But what's great about this is, if I peek back from here, you can see I'm going back to the event. But if I peek from the bottom, I go all the way back to the oh, hub. Man, that oh, is sick. that is awesome. It's just really, really well integrated to let you always get back to the hub, just in case a new message comes in. Right. And everything is done with gestures, and there's no home buttons on the screen. No home button, no home. back button. The yeah. entire device is used simply with gestures. Yeah. It's that easy. Yep, that's amazing. Um, uh, why don't you show us that? Isn't there a feature or something where you go to turn it off, and it actually doesn't turn off? Or yeah, no, absolutely. So you saw me wake up the device and in a, in a much more flowed manner. We can actually do that just by putting the device to sleep as well. So here, I pull down from the top. You can see, you know, I'm in control of the screen, and this is what we yeah. call sleep mode. 
As soon as I do that, sound goes off, profiles are managed, and a clock appears. I love that. Not only that, I can actually then set my alarm. Now I put it in sleep mode. I can go to my different alarm settings, reoccurrence, I can add music. But what's really cool is now that I've set this, you can see how the device kind of shuts itself down, makes sure that it's not disturbing you while you're asleep. And when your alarm goes off, you'll notice how the screen comes to life. That's so cool. And there's your alarm. Oh, that is so cool, man. And that's how you wake up to Black Pretend. That's almost like the sun rising or something, you know. It's like yeah. kind of just kind of slowly rises up, you know. Absolutely. That's, that's awesome. It's like human element to the, to the device. That's really cool. <laughs> so another thing I wanted to show you was the calendar. So you can see now the calendar is really well integrated with obviously a variety of different views. You can see the numbers get bigger the busier the day is. Hmm. I can actually pull down, That's right? Cool. You can see the flow, one month to six months, six months across, and then back up. You can also see, even in day view, I can actually move across day by day. You can see how I can interact with every portion of the screen, so I can quickly move to different days. Even when I click on invite, you can see that very familiar look that we were in in the hub earlier. Mm -hmm. I've got people that I can then find information about. And nice. you can see all of that information is right there. And again, I can yeah, still again, have you just, that. You're always, yeah. Same gesture. And the great thing is we have active frames. So now you can kind of see how this is now giving me my, my view of my next meeting. Right. So it's not a minimized view of the calendar. It's actually an active frame. And that will continue to update as you progress through your day. So, so these things are actually, it's not just a widget. It's something that's actually running real time. Right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So when you look at some of the core BlackBerry 10 applications, whether it be Calendar or things like BBM, if you imagine status updates, if you imagine you know, your next events, um, you know, weather applications and weather changing, you can see all of that happen real time. Yeah. That's beautiful. Cool. And uh, I also noticed on one of your other devices over here, sure. if you guys want to get in on this one, you know, show, show the viewers what you secretly do on your, in your spare time. So I'm always on BlackBerry yeah. OS, as you can see. <laughs> um, we've got an incredible browsing experience, right? You've got all of the information you want, pinch to zoom. Everything's really, really high res. And even like, like I noticed, too, if you don't mind, yeah. I noticed, like, I mean, look at that. That's just, awesome. when you can do that, and there's just, <laughs> it's just so fluid, you know, that's, absolutely. And then you notice actually how we've kind of made sure that uh, all of the, the cross-cut menus and the way you interact with everything is the same as well, right? We also have reader mode, easy way to share information or a page. Um, you can find and search things on a page. You know, all the controls are really, really easy to use. So it's an, an easy uh, browsing experience. And that's really, really important. And as an example, I'll go into one of these articles now. And one of the things you'll notice is as this loads, I can go to reader mode and it'll take that article and remove all the distractions and make it just a really easy Wow, and that experience. read that the, the format's yeah. good too. Yeah, absolutely. And I can even increase font. <laughs> if it's been a long day, just nice and easy. Yeah. <laughs> that is super that is awesome, gorgeous. man. Uh, I will be using that for sure. Because sometimes you just want to get to the, the exactly. you know, just to the exactly. information right away. Absolutely. So another thing I want to show you on Black Pretend is BBM. So now you've got a really, really well integrated experience. You can see how everything is really, really easy to, to access. I can go from all my chats, my BBM chats, my group chats. I can go to contacts. You'll notice even when I go to contacts, how everything really, really looks beautiful. Right, we've made sure that we, we bring pictures and, and information straight to the surface. Mm -hmm. um, and even in things like groups, I talked about active frames earlier. Yeah. You can see how we brought that into the sports club. Oh, wow. wow. That's right? cool. So now, you know, Buddy of mine, Jeff, has recently updated something in a chat. I don't even need to go into the chat. It's right there. The latest picture's been updated, calendar invite, most recent, and obviously some tasks and lists of, of activities I need to get on with. And yet again, you can see how we, we continue to make that experience really, really easy. That is beautiful. Oh, man. And then even when you're in a chat, you can see how that, that legendary BlackBerry keyboard yep. pops into place. If I tap the emoticons, you see how we swap everything out. Yep. And you can continue to just type away. That's so awesome. And now these uh, developers are uh, that are at this event, mm -hmm. um, they've all gotten access to the keyboard now in the new operating system. Absolutely, absolutely. These yep. features I've shown you today, BBM, the keyboard, yep. the browser, 
um, you know, the calendar. Yep. It's all part of so this. So it's out. It's out in the public. Everybody's got it. You know. Absolutely. And, uh, so if you guys see somebody who's got one, you better jump on them or something. Try to get yourself a little registration. <laughs> There's only a few thousand of them out there. So. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So we're definitely excited for that. Well, uh, thanks for your time today, Vinny. Thanks, appreciate it, man. Always appreciate it's always it. a pleasure. Absolutely. And that's it from BlackRealist.com. We're out of here.